I'm finally showing you my mom's Mary Poppins collection. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. But I do all things Disney on this channel. So if that interests you, then please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you're always notified when there's a new video from me. So happy Tuesday, I hope you're all having a great start to your week. I would have liked this video to go up last Friday, July 2nd, as that was my mum's birthday. But as you know, I like my first upload of the month to be my Hello Month video. And I upload on Tuesdays and Fridays. So this is my mum's Mary Poppins collection. I know that my good friend Mary over at Jolly Holiday with Mary is really excited for this. It is not everything because obviously the bedding is not on the bed right now and there are other things that are at my mum's work and there are things she has been given for her birthday that are Mary Poppins but at the time of filming she doesn't have those yet. So I'm going to show you what we display in the living room and there's going to be a couple of cards for videos where I show you more things and those things are the things that are at my mum's work and things like that. So I'm going to start with plush because I am a Disney plush collector. You can see some down here but I've just got two to get out of the cabinet. I should also say that once I've shown you everything I will show you a close-up of how it's all displayed. I'm also not going to show you her clothing but I do have some clothing on today. This is from Primark and it's the penguins from the Jolly Holiday with Mary scene. I have recently been gifted a Mary Poppins t-shirt from Savvy. Here is a picture. I got it in my mum's size so I could give it to her. So I just wanted to show that but I'm not going to show you her other Mary Poppins t-shirts. They need to do a Mary Poppins spirit jersey because that would just be chef's kiss. So on to the plushes. These two are actually mine but I told my mum to put them in her collection as I think they look better with her Mary Poppins things. So the first one is the Mickey Mouse as Bert plush. So he is a small beanbag size. I think they cost 15 to 20 dollars each. I got them from Walt Disney World. I say them because there is two. So Mickey is wearing Bert's straw hat and the like candy striped jacket and he's got a cane and it's from the Jolly Holiday with Mary scene. And because I'm talking about plurals, it is obvious that I've got the Minnie as well. So Minnie is dressed as Mary in the Jolly Holiday with Mary scene. These are kept in a glass cabinet to keep them pristine because in my room they were just getting dusty and I just absolutely love this. Minnie is in Mary's white Jolly Holiday dress with the red bows and the beautiful go-go boots that Julie Andrews actually kept after filming ceased. And then we've got three plushes here. So this is the penguin from the Jolly Holiday with Mary C. He's got a blue plate in his right hand and he's got a towel hanging over his left arm and he's just absolutely adorable. I got this from Shop Disney UK a couple of years ago. Again, these all used to be mine, but I wanted them to stay with mum's things. And then we've got Mary in her Jolly Holiday with Mary dress, like the mini. She is the new style of plush where the eyes are embroidered, but everything else is just a little bit plain. But she does stand better, I must say, because you can see that that Mary is like bending a little bit. And I think she's absolutely gorgeous and she looks so good with the penguin. And then this is an old style Mary. So as you can see, their faces are very, very different. I wish I had them the same, but it's actually kind of nice to have something to compare. So she is in her classic nanny outfit. She's got her carpet bag and she's got the umbrella and she's got her beautiful hat on. And I just absolutely love this plush. And like I said, it's kind of good that I've got comparisons of new and old plushes. So as you may know, my dog is blind but he can kind of make out these two Mary plushes on the fireplace because he will just kind of stare at them sometimes. And then I do a really bad Lin-Manuel Miranda impression. So he'll be sat there and I'll go, Mary Poppins as I live and breathe. <laughs> because it's like he's kind of talking to her because he just stays staring at her for like ages. It's ridiculous. Right, so now as you can see, there are some Disney Store decorations. So we are going to go on to those. So the first one I have isn't actually Mary Poppins, but when I show it to you and show you something we have later, you will understand 
why this counts. So I got this for my mum for Christmas from the Shop Disney UK website but it's actually from Disneyland Paris and it is a snow globe of Minnie Mouse on one of the carousel horses. So as you may know the carousel is very tied to Mary Poppins by fans but not really by Disney themselves. A lot of people bought the carousel Minnie Mouse the Main Attraction plush because it was very Mary Poppins inspired even though the ride has absolutely no theming for Mary Poppins and if you didn't see my review of that plush I will leave a card up above but there is actually one horse on the Disneyland attraction called Jingles which I was very lucky to have gone on on my September 2019 trip and that is generally known as Julie Andrews horse. So that's why I got this for my mum. And then we've got quite the collection of Shop Disney UK Christmas ornaments. So the first one is this Step in Time. We got this for Christmas 2020. So it's Mary and Bert on top of the roof as they are cleaning chimneys. And it does play Step in Time, but I don't want to be copyrighted or anything. So just go on to YouTube and play Step in Time. And then we've got this one for 55 years of Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins came out in 1964, I believe. So this was released in 2019. It has the 55 years at the top and, and there's a tree over the globe and there is Mary, Bert and one of the penguins. And I just absolutely love this. And then this one is from 2018. It is the Jolly Holiday with Mary scene. Mary is sat at a table and the penguin waiters are all around her. So there's one at her feet and there are two on the table. And then there's a bit of tree on the back as well. And then this one is also from 2018. It is Mary flying on her umbrella with her carpet bag and her classic outfit. And this one obviously has to hang up because it doesn't stand. So we've just got command hooks holding both of those up. They're not very heavy. The other ones that are heavy stay in the cabinet. And then I think this one was another Shop Disney UK purchase that was available on the website from Disneyland Paris and it is a Mary Poppins inspired bag. Now when I was younger my mum used to collect little figurines of hats and handbags so when I saw that they did this I absolutely had to get it for her because she used to collect those and I just think it's so gorgeous. It could be hung but it also sits down really nicely. And then this one was a gift to my mum from the Jodie and Laura life. So if you didn't see what they got me in our Christmas box swap, I will leave a card up above. But this is what they got for my mum. They also got an ornament for my dad. This is Mary Poppins carpet bag with the umbrella and it's hand painted and it was from the Christmas shop in Disney Springs. I absolutely love that they got my mum and dad something and my mum loved this. And then the final thing that you can't see because of my massive head is this sign. So this sign was from Primark around the time that Mary Poppins Returns came out and it says anything can happen if you let it and it's really really lovely. It just hangs above our fireplace but obviously you couldn't see that because of my massive head. And speaking of Primark we also had this bubble that says practically perfect in every way. We kept it in the box because a lot of these baubles that year broke really easily so we thought it was easier to just keep it in the box and the box is really adorable as well because it's got all the penguins on it. So this was a bauble from Primark. Now I'm going to show you the Funko Pop figures that she's got. So unfortunately I don't have the original Mary Poppins Funko Pop but I am trying to find it for my mum. So these are all from the Mary Poppins Returns release. So the first one is a rock candy and it is obviously Mary Poppins in her traditional outfit but in the style of Emily Blunt and I think they've done it really really well. I absolutely love rock candies. I think they are actually stylized a lot nicer than Funko Pops. So I wish they did more characters but I had to get this one for my mum. And then we've got that same outfit as a Funko Pop. So again, stylized to look like Emily Blunt. I don't have one that looks like Julie Andrews for her but I am on the lookout. I just really love this pop. And then we've got Mary in her Royal Dalton Bowl outfit. I really love this scene and it's done really well in Funko Pop form. The only problem is because her head is bigger than her body it falls over in the glass cabinet quite a lot so Usually when I show it to you, I don't notice that the Funkos fell over. And then finally, for her Funko Pops, we have got Jack the Lamplighter. 
as played by Lin-Manuel Miranda and I absolutely love this Funko Pop. When I bought it her we started singing Triple Little Like Fantastic because that's my favourite song from the film. That and Where the Lost Things Go because I think that's a really good song about explaining grief to children. So now I've shown you her Funko Pops I am going to show you the miscellaneous things before we get on to the big stuff. Next up we've got something that was gifted to me. I was gifted the entire Mary Poppins range from Half Moon Bay a couple of years ago. If you didn't see that video, I'll leave a card up above. It is a very cringy video as I just started really getting into YouTube, but there are some items in that haul that are at my mum's work, especially the latte mug. So this is a little trinket dish of Mary Poppins umbrella. I obviously gave it to my mum and we used to display it on the fireplace, but now we've got a glass cabinet just for my mum's Mary Poppins collection. So this was from Half Moon Bay. And then Primark did one similar in this range. So this is theirs and it says practically perfect in every way around it. Obviously the colors are different, but we liked that they were both Mary Poppins, so we got both. And then also from that Mary Poppins range, and it's also where the bedding is from, we got the cherry blossom candle that I don't believe she's ever burnt. Oh, she has burnt it a little bit, but not enough to make it look like it's not brand new. And then we've got a snow globe. There are some Mary Poppins snow globes that I wish we had because it's my mum's favourite film. But this was from Primark for Mary Poppins Returns. And I think it's really lovely because it's got like the townhouses of London and then Mary in the snow globe itself. And the snow actually has little stars in it, which I really, really love. And then I can't remember who picked this up for me. It was either my friend Frankie or my friend Kelly. But they picked up this Jolly Holiday with Mary figurine for me from Disneyland Paris. So again, she is with the penguins in her white dress. I believe they also do one in her traditional outfit, but we don't have that one right now. And now I've just got a mug and some glasses to show you and then we'll get on to the big stuff. So like I said, these aren't all of her mugs because there are some that are at her work. But this one is always on display and it's from Shop Disney UK. It says a spoonful of sugar with some cherry blossoms. There is an umbrella stirrer. And on the other side, Mary is a gold silhouette over London with some cherry blossoms. And I absolutely love this. And then these two glasses we do actually drink out of, but I wanted to show them to you anyway. These were also gifted by Half Moon Bay. So you've got Mary on this side. And on the other side, it's her tight measure with practically perfect in every way. Extremely stubborn and suspicious and rather inclined to giggle. Doesn't put things away, which I think is me. And then the other one has Mary again. And it says super califragilistic expialidocious. And I just absolutely love these. Right, so I've got four big statues to show you now. And then that is it for this video. So the first one was actually gifted to my mom via me for a Mother's Day campaign last year. If you didn't see that video, I will leave a card up above. It was from Gift Giving All Wrapped Up. And they also sent my mom a jewelry box and a glasses case, which are in her bedroom. So they aren't included in this video. But the statue was Mary Poppins as Julie Andrews in the clouds. As you can see, the stand is the clouds and she's in her traditional outfit holding her umbrella because she's obviously flying in the clouds and she's got her carpet bag as well. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's made by the Disney Enchanting Collection if you would like to buy one. But this was very kindly gifted to my mum. And then these two were my mum's Christmas presents from my dad. They were made by Kevin and Jodie and they were sold in Disneyland Paris, but they were sold on Shop Disney UK. So the first one is Mr and Mrs Banks. Mr Banks has the kite for Let's Go Fly a Kite. And Mrs Banks is wearing her Votes for Women sash and there's a little dog. I think this is Andrew, Mrs Lark's dog, because they don't have a dog. But I absolutely love the style of the Kevin and Jodie statues and there is the bottom it was actually for the 55th anniversary they also did a snow globe and i feel really really bad that i didn't manage to get it for my mom and then the other statue also by kevin and jody was mary poppins bert and the children so mary poppins has her umbrella she's wearing more of a lilac which is my mum's favourite colour. She's holding Jane's hand, who is holding Michael's hand, who is holding Bert's hand, and Bert also has a kite. And what I love is that the kite actually has some string that is like coming off the kite, and there is the bottom. 
Like I said, there's also a snow globe. I wish I was able to get it for her, but I didn't see it on the website. Somebody must have and got it before I did, but I didn't see it. I am an actual idiot for like getting the plushes out from around this and then forgetting to show it. But this is a Miss Mindy that we got my mum for her birthday last year. And as you can see, it's in the Miss Mindy style. She's in her Jolly Holiday outfit. And then there's a little carousel in her dress that you can actually wind up and it plays Jolly Holiday. And it's absolutely gorgeous. But for some reason, I just didn't pick it up and show you guys. And the final item I'm so, so excited about is actually a gift from my parents from our September 2019 Disneyland trip. We bought this in a store in Disney's California Adventure. I think it was in Off the Page. It had to be shipped home by Disney because there was no way anyone was going to fit it in their suitcase. And there is actually a mini that we're in search of as well. So this is Mickey on Jingles. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. So Mickey is a red Dapper Dan on Jingles. And the reason this stays in my mum's Mary Poppins collection is because Jingles was known as Julie Andrews horse. So Jingles is what I was referring to earlier when I was showing you that Disneyland Paris decoration. And I just absolutely love this. It was so expensive. But the lady in the store said it was being discontinued. So we thought, get it because we'll never see it again. And then I found out later that there is a Minnie Mouse version, but I've never seen it for sale. So if anyone could help me, then please message me on Instagram, Lizzie and Disney, because I would love to have both. So that was most of my mum's Mary Poppins collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and wish my mum a belated happy birthday in the comments as it was last Friday. I'm hoping she enjoyed all of her presents. We did manage to get her a few Mary Poppins bits, but there are still a few things we are looking for. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you on Friday for another one. Bye guys. <laughs>